When you look at those successful folks with 100,000 subscribers, super loyal fans, six-figure businesses, and all these products, merch, all this stuff, it's hard not to compare yourself with them and think that you'll never get there. That path is so long that how are you even supposed to get started? And so you kill yourself with comparison syndrome before you even start. But the truth is they started probably in the same exact place as you with nothing, with zero subscribers, with no income, with a negative balance in their bank account. And they were in the same exact place, but they were just comparing themselves to somebody else that was further along than them back when they got started. So you're no different than the successful people you look up to. You're just on a different point in your journey. So if you've been struggling with comparison syndrome and not knowing how to get started or how to keep it going, in this video, I'm gonna show you just how you can push past all that and start creating some success for yourself. First of all, you have to show up for yourself consistently. When they say life is 80% showing up, they didn't mean just once. You're showing up all the time. You're showing up over and over again, year after year, and that's how you create a career. Consistent action over time is actually gonna be way more beneficial in the long run. A big burst of inspiration is gonna be great to get you started. But if you use up all your energy right then and there, and you don't have any consistency over time, that tiny little blip where you blew up, nobody's gonna remember that. I once heard a rumor that legendary marketer Seth Godin would actually appear on any podcast that wanted him as long as they had shown consistency in their work and had at least 100 episodes under their belt because that showed Seth that they were worth the time to appear on their podcast. I assume it's because he wanted to make sure that they were serious about their craft before he showed up. So consistency is one of the fundamental things you have to do well if you wanna have a long-term career in any industry or in any field. I started Audio Issues in 2009 in a basement apartment in Madrid just writing about what I was learning, writing about audio, publishing it online, and consistently doing that year after year. If I had stopped writing or stopped publishing, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. So the only reason I'm still around is because of consistency. So if you wanna make a name for yourself, you have to consistently show up for yourself because if you don't do it, nobody else is going to. Now it's easy to be consistent if you actually like what you're doing. So you really have to keep in mind and think about what it is that gets you up in the morning and gets you creative. Because if you try to follow trends, try to do all these different things all at once and none of them really well, you're gonna burn out much faster and you won't ever get to a level that you want. I originally started marketing and promoting my business through writing because I enjoyed it. I was fairly good at it and I could build my career around writing. I have since transitioned into other content areas, but if I would have started with video or started with a medium that I was uncomfortable with, I wouldn't have made it this far. I always recommend that once you've found something that you like doing, if you're a really good writer, you should focus on writing. If you're really good at making videos, make videos. But once you've found the medium, focus on long-term consistency instead of just a big burst of energy. Because let's say you get a burst of inspiration and you write 10 incredible blog posts in a week. Now you might be really happy with yourself. You have these 10 really killer blog posts or these amazing articles. You wanna put them out there as soon as possible so you can get gigs or get hired or sell affiliate products through links in your articles or what have you. The mistake is to post them too close together and not give you enough of a buffer in order to consistently create that content strategy over time. So instead of posting one article per day for 10 days and then burning out because you don't have anything else to contribute, why not space those articles over 10 weeks? That means you have an article to publish every week and you have 10 weeks to come up with new articles and you have 10 weeks to promote those articles and talk about those articles and use those articles as marketing content. Obviously, if you make videos, the same applies. Don't make 10 YouTube videos and post them daily because 
your audience just won't be able to catch up. The YouTube algorithm won't even know what to do because you're being too prolific in too short of a period of time so that once that burst of energy is over, YouTube doesn't know what to do with all those videos. They're spaced too closely together and all the energy is gone and there's no long-term investment on your part. Instead of the sprint mentality, take the marathon mindset and actually space things over time and that way it's actually easier to make progress because you're focusing on less things while making bigger returns. There's this term in investing called dollar cost averaging, which if you would know anything about investing, one of the main things that people say is that you can't really time the market. It's impossible, it's very unpredictable. But when you dollar cost average, you don't actually time the market, you're just constantly investing at every point in time so that you're following the market. So sometimes you're buying high, sometimes you're buying low. So you're following that and then over time, that will yield returns. And so you can look at the consistency of putting in the reps in order to grow your career the same way. You put in the reps, they're not all gonna be good. Sometimes you're gonna create poor content, sometimes you're not gonna do a great job. You might put your best effort in, but not every episode is gonna be a winner, right? And not every job is gonna knock it out of the park. Sometimes you take a job just to pay the bills, sometimes you take a job that doesn't pay well, but might lead to other opportunities. And when you're gonna be doing that, maybe your batting average is the same, but if you have a 15 year career swinging the bat, you're gonna have a lot more games and a lot more income than somebody that played one little league, <laughs> one little league game and hit a home run. Is that how baseball works? I'm not sure, I'm not from the US. But as cliched as it might be, you do actually miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So in your case, I recommend finding something that you like doing. If you like taking pictures on Instagram, and if you like doing quick videos, if you like writing, if you like creating graphics, find the medium you're comfortable with that is easy for you to do and easy for you to express yourself with, and then use that to promote yourself. Because once it's easy for you, or once you have fun with it, it's easy to do it consistently. And when you do it repeatedly, it becomes a habit. And when you do that consistently over time, it increases in quality and becomes a skill. And before you know it, you'll be able to earn an income with those skills. So don't overlook consistency and showing up for yourself if you want to get anywhere in life. Fall in love with the process of doing all of this instead of wanting just the outcome and you'll find it easier to get to where you wanna go. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe below so you can get more content like this the next time I upload it. Thank you so much, take it easy.